Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful to be here again. Ni furaha kuwepo hapa tena jioni ya leo. This is really a good opportunity for us to learn a lot of things. Hii ni fursa yetu kubwa kujifunza mambo mengi. Tomorrow will be the end of this third phase. Na kesho ndio itakuwa ni mwisho wa hii aamu ya tatu. Let's go back again to the vision, purpose, goals and objectives. Tena tena kwenye maono, makusudi, malengo na mikakati. Tell your neighbor vision, purpose, goals and objectives. Mwambie jirani yako maono, makusudi, malengo na mikakati. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the teachings on how to plan goals and uh, objectives are uh, continue. Mafundisho jinsi ya kupanga malengo and the objectives of the ministry na mikakati kwa ajili ya huduma or our businesses au biashara zetu is very important. Ni muhimu sana. Proverbs chapter 14 ah uh, mithali 14 verse 8 na mstari wa 8 The wisdom of the prudent is to discern his way. Akiza mwenye busara ni kujua njia zake. But the, the folly of fools is deceiving. Lakini upumbavu wa wapumbavu ni udanganyifu. You know you cannot make it if you don't know where you are going. Uwezi kwenda popote kama hujui mahali unapoenda. The plans are the things that shows you where you are going. Mipango ndio inakuonesha mahali unapokwenda. Because if you don't know where you are going, kasa kama hujui mahali unapokwenda, they say you will get lost even if you are there. Unaweza ukajikuta umekwenda mahali umepotea. They say, kuna msemo unaosema, not having a plan is your plan. Kutokuwa na mpango huo ndio mpango wako. <laughs> So another way you are a failure. Tell your neighbor not having a plan is your plan. Kutokuwa na mpango ndio mpango wako. Mwambie jirani yako. Mwambie kutokuwa na mpango ndio mpango wako. Amen. Amen. They also say failure to plan is planning to fail kushindwa kupanga na kupanga kushindwa you must remember this words nataka kumbuka haya maneno a goal without a plan is just a wish malengo pasiko mipango ni matamanio every day every day you say oh i wish kila siku unasema ningetamani i wish i can drive a car ningetamani niendeshe gari i wish i can build my home na wish natamani ningejenga nyumba yangu i wish i wish natamani natamani you need to have goals unahitaji kuwa na mipango and the plans na mipango so you can achieve what you want to ili uweze kupata kile ambacho unakitaka many leaders have failed to start doing their vision viongozi wengu wameshindwa kufanya maono yao for the lack of sense of destiny kukosa kule kuwa na kutazama mbele kunatokea nini and a clear plan of the vision na mipango iliyo inaonekana ya maono any time they want to start they are interacted by the huge amount of money of, of the cost wakati mwingi wanapotaka kuanza wanakuta wanaingiliwa wakiangalia gharama kubwa ya pesa au gharama inayohitajika kutimiza hayo maono if the project will need 100 million kama uh, mradi utahitaji milioni 100 don't be afraid usiogope break it into objectives ivunje vunje kwenye vipao mbele know what to start with jua unataka uanze nini focus on the foundation na angalia ule msingi motivate the people to focus only on the foundation 
na watie moyo watu waangalie kile kitu cha msingi you need to learn to prioritizing principles wajifunze kuweka vipaumbele kati ya kanuni plan how to get the money only for one part for the foundation kwa panga mpango wa kupata pesa kwa ajili tu ya kile kipande kimoja ambacho ni msingi not all the building so kwa ajili ya jengo kuzima so make the foundation your priority kwa tengeneza ule msingi kuwa ndio kipaumbele chako then you can create a slogan for well, that for the, for the foundation project wewe tengeneza kauli mbio kwa ajili ya, ya hiyo uh, ambayo unaianzisha such as little money great work kama pesa kidogo kazi kubwa it will motivate yourself itakutia moyo mwenyewe it will motivate others itawatia moyo wengine and the way can be start uh, going and moving na kazi itaanza na kuenda mbele but if you keep on uh, uh, afraid you fear the, the the biggest of the project ukianza kuogopa kwamba ule mpango mkubwa utatimiaje you need to have plans unahitajika kuwa na mipango paul said in first corinthians paul alisema katika korinto wa kwanza chapter 14 14 verse 40 na mstari wa 40 he said alisema but all things should be done properly and in an orderly manner lakini mambo yote na yatendeke kwa uzuri na kwa utaratibu leaders if you don't know how to plan viongozi kama hamjui jinsi ya kupanga you will move nowhere hautaenda popote your ministry will go nowhere huduma yako haitaenda popote that group you are leading will go nowhere hicho kuna cho kiongoza hakitaenda popote and remember nowhere is very dangerous to be na ujue mahali Place. ambapo ni popote ni mahali ambapo sio pazuri kuwepo. Nowhere is a very dangerous place to be. Mahali popote ni mahali hatari sana kuwepo. The people don't want to carry the big mountain on their head. Watu hawapendi kubeba mlima mkubwa kichwani mwao. So the vision is big mountain. Kwa hiyo maono ni ni ndio mlima mkubwa like Mount Kilimanjaro. Kama mlima Kilimanjaro. Nobody is is ready to carry the Mount Kilimanjaro on his head or her head. Kuna mtu ambaye anataka kubeba mlima Kilimanjaro kichwani kwake. But they are able to put any mountain down. Lakini wana, wako tayari kuweka kila mlima chini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't be afraid. Kwa hiyo usiogope. Because of that project. Kwa sababu ya huo mradi. Because of that thing you want to do. Kwa sababu ya kile kitu ambacho unataka kukifanya. Because of the house you want to build. Kwa sababu ya nyumba unayotaka kuijenga. You can start slow by slow. Unaweza kuanza taratibu taratibu. And at the end of the day you get it done. Na mwishoni utakukamilisha. President Abra- Abraham Lincoln uh, said, Abraham Lincoln alisema Give me six hours nipatie masaa sita to chop down a tree kukata mti and I will spend the first four hours sharpening the axe na nitatumia masaa manne ya kwanza kunoa shoka you see now unaona sasa so this these are plans hii ni mipango the tree is there mti uko pale how what am i going to use naenda kutumia nini to chop this tree kukata huo mti i will use my axe ninatumia shoka langu have to sharpen it lakini atakuwa nilinoe so sharpening is plans kwa hiyo kunoa ni mpango if the sh- axe is 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 duly uh, kama shoka ni mibutu you are going to use a lot of strength utatumia nguvu nyingi sana to chop a, 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 a small tree kukata uh, mti mdogo many many families has have failed to have lands or houses uh, familia nyingi zimeshindwa kuwa na nyumba au kuwa na na, na na mashamba simply because they fear the huge amount to get lands kwa sababu wanaogopa fedha kubwa kupata arizi They know nice houses takes over 1 million thousands 1 million to to build it and to make it done complete wanajua kwamba kujenga nyumba inachukua mamilioni ya fedha kuikamilisha and i have a b- bad news for you ninayo habari mbaya kwa ajili yako if you are waiting for getting millions of money to can do something kama unasubiri una kupata mamilioni ya fedha ili ufanye kitu you will make you will never make it in your life hautafanikiwa katika maisha yako leaders let us work let is let us be awake 
viongozi tuamke because many ministries fail for lack of clear plans kwa sababu huduma nyingi zimeshindwa kwa sababu ya kukosa mipango ambayo inaeleweka many families fail for lack of clear plans kwa familia nyingi zimeshindwa kwa sababu ya kukosa mipango inaeleweka many projects die for lack of good plans na miradi nyingi imekufa kwa sababu ya kukosa mipango mizuri so planning simply means kupanga inamaanisha kirahisi explaining the vision ni kuelezea maono by showing your purpose of existence kwa kuonesha kusudi la kuwepo kwako highlighting the goals na kuweza kuweka ma, 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 malengo and specifying the strategies on na, how to start moving na kuelezea mikakati jinsi ambayo mtaanza kutembea and by so doing na kwa kufanya hivyo any leader kiongozi yoyote at any place katika nafasi yoyote can accomplish great things anaweza aka pat akafanya mambo makubwa any family kila familia at any village katika kijiji chochote can build mansions wanaweza kujenga majumba makubwa any person mtu yeyote in a church kanisani can achieve great things anza akafanya mambo makubwa haleluya haleluya you need to learn how to plan unahitajika kujifunza jinsi ya kupanga you have vision nchukua na maono that is big picture hiyo ni picha kubwa then put the mission statement weka, weka kusudio la, 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 la kumalizia kazi hallelujah hallelujah the mission statement na ile kusudio kauli mbiu ya makusudi why the vision is there inaelezea kwa nini maono yako pale why you exist kwa nini nyie mpo hapo then put goals weka malengo goals are the ways to achieve all the missions malengo ni jinsi ya kutimiza haya makusudi yote for instance kwa mfano you going uh, to use a car to go somewhere unatukila kutumia gari kwenda mahali fulani the car is a vision Ka, maono gari ni maono uh, i'm sorry the car is a goal is a purpose gari ndio makusudi you have where you are going kuna mahali ambapo unapokwenda and you will have why are you going there na unajua kwa nini unakwenda pale so where you go is a vision kule unapokwenda ni maono why you going there na kwa nini unakwenda pale that is the purpose hiyo ni kusudi the means to kile, take you there kile ambacho kitakupeleka pale that is goal hayo ni malengo how do you get that means to function na jinsi angalau utapata hiyo njia ya kufanya kazi that is objectives hiyo ni mkakati so we have this vision which tuna, is nairobi tuna haya maono ambayo ni nairobi okay why am i going to nairobi kwa nini nakwenda nairobi maybe wedding kwa sababu kuna harusi so you have vision you kwa, have uh, 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 purpose kwa una una maono lakini pia una makusudi and how am i going to get there na nitafikaje pale I will drive. Nitaendesha. I will use my car. Natumia gari langu. That is goals. Hayo ni malengo. Okay. How do this car is going to move? Na hii gari itaendaje kule? I will put fuel. Nitaweka mafetroli. I will drive it. Nitaiendesha. <laughs> I will get food in my car. Nitakuwa na chakula kwenye gari langu. I will I will uh, use my 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 seed my radio to listen music nitatumia radio yangu kusikiza muziki and i'll move nitaondoka so before you know anything but kabla kujua chochote you are in nairobi upo nairobi hallelujah hallelujah so anything can be accomplished chochote kinaweza kukatimizwa you need to have vision unahitaji kuwa na maono you need to have purpose unahitaji kuwa na makusudi you need to have goals unahitaji kuwa na malengo and uh, strategies na mikakati hallelujah hallelujah Proverbs chapter 12 uh, Mithali 12 verse 5 Na The plans of the diligent lead surely to advantage Mawazo ya mwenye haki ni adili But everyone who is hasty comes surely to poverty Bali mashauri ya mtu mwovu ni uhada Hallelujah Hallelujah You need to have plans Unahitajika kuwa na mipango You don't just live as a fool. Usiishi kama mjinga. Have plans. Uwe na mipango in your life. Kaka maisha yako. I remember I and my wife 
I and my wife na kumbuka mimi na mke wangu when we started the project of building our house tulipoanza mradi wa kujenga nyumba yetu where we now live pale ambapo tunapoishi sasa hivi we took a loan tulichukua mkopo to buy the land tukanunua arizi hallelujah hallelujah we had a vision tulikuwa na maono and the purpose na makusudi and the goals na malengo and the strategies na mikakati So we took a loan. Tukachukua mkopo. It took us almost four to five years to pay for that loan. Ilichukua miaka 4 mpaka mitano kulipa huo mkopo. When we had done with the land, tulipomaliza kununua arzi, we again took the loan for the foundation only. Tukachukua mkopo tena kwa ajili ya kuweka msingi tu. Only foundation. Msingi tu peke yake. We did not think about the huge atiyafikiria ile jengo kubwa we only thought about foundation and the foundation only tulifikiria tu kwa ajili ya msingi na msingi tu of course we had a house plan tulikuwa na na, na, ule, na mchoro wa nyumba but we said na hiyo tukasema let us break this into goals tuweke katika mipango we have to start with the only foundation tuanze na msingi tu and forget about the rest na tusahau kingine chochote so we took a loan tukachukua mkopo for foundation kwa ajili ya, ya, ya msingi ask your neighbor are you listening muulize jana yako unasikiliza ask your neighbor are you here muulize jana yako huko hapa hallelujah hallelujah So we took again a loan for the foundation. Tukachukua tena mkopo kwa ajili ya msingi. Oh, after the foundation was done, baada ya kumaliza msingi, and we had already paid for the foundation, na tumeshalipia msingi, then we started to put bricks. Tukaanza kuweka matofali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many rooms? Rumu ngapi? One and a half room. Rumu moja na nusu. That is not two rooms. Sio rumu mbili. It is only one and a, a little tiny room. Kwamba ilikuwa ni, ni, ni rumu moja na ka, rumu kingine kadogo. And we said, na tukasema, we are not going to focus on the entire house. Hatutakana kuangalia nyumba nzima. Let us focus only for one and a half. <laughs> Tuangalie tu kwamba rumu moja na nusu. Hallelujah. <laughs> so remember Kumbuka the all foundation is there already. Msingi wote uko pale tayari. And we, when we had done with the foundation we celebrated. Tupomaliza msingi tukashangilia. We rejoice. Tukashangilia. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. We have achieved. Tumefanikiwa. And you are there. Na mlikuwa pale. You are there. Mlikuwa hapo. I mean you are there waiting to get the, the okay. huge amount of money so we, you can build a house. Kwa hiyo uko hapo unasiwi kupata hela nyingi ili ujenge uh, nyumba. Leaders, let us be wise. Viongozi tuwe na akili. I'm telling you leaders, let us be wise. Tuwe na hekima nyewe sisi viongozi. Okay, after that. Baada ya hapo, we said now one room and a, a, a small tiny room chumba kimoja na chumba kingine kidogo so we, start, we started building tukaanza kujenga and we put uh, iron uh, uh, steels tukaweka bati and guess what una, wa, una, we kitoka. said tukasema our home nyumba yetu is completely done imemalizika we shifted into it tukahamia we went into it tukahamia and the people started to laugh at us na watu wakaanza kutucheka you see these people are poor hao watu ni maskini look at their house ona nyumba wanaokaa you know this is not the house hii sio nyumba let me remind you our house plan had four bedrooms a nyumba yetu ilikuwa ina vyumba vinne and the sitting room na na, na sebule dining room sehemu ya kulia chakula kitchen and store jiko na store and car garage na sehemu ya kupaki gari but we didn't focus on all this hatujaangalia hayo yote these are the goals hayo hiyo ni mipango in order to achieve the big picture ili kuweza kukamilisha ile picha kubwa you don't go with everything uende na kila kitu you have to break goals The, you, you break the vision into goals unatakuwa ugawanya ile maono katika mipango so you can go stage by stage step by step kwa 
gradually taratibu you will get the big picture utapata ile picha kubwa makofi kwa bwana anything you doing makofi kwa bwana whether even it is business kila kitu unachokifanya hata kama ni biashara you can't take the whole thing uweze kuchukua kitu chote you know i don't have this capital if i had uh, 20 million unajua sina mtaji ningekuwa na milioni 20 keep on waiting for 20 million endelea kusubiri milioni 20 you will you may end up dying without possessing half a million unaweza ukafa hata hujapata 500 So you see our home now. Sasa naona nyumba yetu sasa. But we focused on only one room, tu, tu, little. Ah uh, tulianza na chumba kimoja kidogo. It was one room and little store. Ilikuwa ni chumba kimoja na store ndogo. And when we shifted into our home, tulipohamia kwa nyumba yetu, it was a little shapeless whole house. Ilikuwa ni nyumba ambayo haina haionekani vizuri. I remember the people laughing us and we listened to them laughing. Na niliona nakumbuka watu walipotucheka na niliwasikia wakitucheka. Our neighbors made mockery of us. Na majirani zetu walikuwa wametufanyia zarau. Oh, poor people. Maskini wao. Oh my god. Oh Mungu wangu. Oh, poor people. Maskini wao. Poor people. Maskini watu wao. But come today and see. Lakini njoo uone. Come today and see where we live. Njoo leo tuone tuapoishi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know I'm talking about when we shifted in our house it was 2009. Tulipohamia kwa nyumba yetu ilikuwa ni mwaka 2009. And today it is 12 years. Mpaka sasa hivi ni miaka 12. It takes long inachukua muda mrefu to achieve any vision. Kukimiza maono yoyote. If you want to get there faster, ukitaka ufike hapo haraka, that's a trap you will never make it. Huo ni mtego hautafanikiwa. Some pastors want to open church today and get there today. Baadhi ya wachungaji wanataka kufungua makanisa na wafike leo leo. When they see this structure they think we started today and get it today. Wakiangalia jengo kama hili wanafikiri tumeanza leo tukapata leo leo. You can't go that way uwezi kwenda namna hiyo hallelujah hallelujah that big picture hiyo picha kubwa break it into goals vunja vunja katika mipango you see now we started with the land tulianza na jengo then foundation msingi then one room chumba kimoja and then while while in our room tulipokuwa kwa chumba chetu kimoja they were busy putting bricks wanaanza kuweka uh, matofali little by little kidogo kidogo and finally na baadaye we got there tukamaliza makofi kwa bwana you will be shocked when i tell you how much we spent to build it you will be shocked unaweza ukashangaa kwamba nikikwambia fedha tutotumia kujenga nyumba yetu over 1 million thousand i mean over 100. 1 uh, zaidi ya milioni 100 But we didn't have that money. Hatukua na hiyo pesa. We didn't have that money. Hatukua na hiyo pesa. But because we went gradually, kwa sababu tulienda taratibu, we used the money without noticing that we have used this huge amount of money. Tumetumia fedha nyingi pasipo kujua kama tunatumia fedha nyingi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any project is possible. Ki- mradi unawezekana Tell your neighbor any project is possible Mwambie jirani yako kila mradi unawezekana Even building your house is possible Hata kujenga nyumba yako inawezekana If you create strategies Kama utatengeneza mikakati on how to start doing the vision Jinsi ya kuanza kukamilisha maono yako By doing it gradually kwa kufanya taratibu step by step atua kwa atua You will finally accomplish great works Utafanya kitu kikubwa sana Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well applied strategies unapotumia mikakati will motivate the people to proper action. Itawatia moyo watu wachukue maamuzi sahihi. It will motivate the people. Itawatia moyo watu. If it is, it is a family, kama ni familia, it will motivate the, them, the, the husband and the wife. Itawahamasisha uh, mke na mume to start doing kufanya Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember motivation is the word that is derived from the word motive. Ah, uh, hiyo hali ya kuhamasishwa imetoweka katika ile neno uh, uh, motive. Uh, nia ya ndani, which means need. 
to, to need something inamaanisha kwamba ile nia ndani ya kutaka kitu desires matamanio wants mahitaji hallelujah hallelujah so leaders viongozi You need to accomplish that vision. Unahitajika kutimiza hayo maono. You need to accomplish that mission. Unahitajika kutimiza hilo kusudi. You need to develop that group. Unahitajika kuendeleza hicho kikundi. When I was talking I was taking my leadership studies at Hagai Institute in South Africa. Nipokuwa nachukua masomo yangu katika chuo cha Hagai Institute kule South Africa. They taught us about smart walitufundisha kuhusiana neno smart smart principle smart pri- kanuni ya smart this smart it is s m a r t s m r t narudia tena can write it down s m a r t s m a r t hallelujah hallelujah now this is smart smart s S stands for measurable I mean specific maalum your vision must be specific kwamba maono yako lazima yawe maalum your goals must be specific malengo yako lazima yawe maalum you don't mix things usichanganye vitu don't mix up the things usichanganye changanye vitu focus on what you are called to do uweze kuangalia kile ambacho umeitwa kufanya it has to be specific lazima iwe maalum and the m m stands for measurable i lazima iweze kupimika make sure that it is measurable hakisha kama inaweza kupimika they can measure it waweza wakaipima and you can afford it maweza mkaifikia that's why we had to break our house into pieces ndo maana tulivunja vunja nyumba yetu katika vipande vipande so that we can afford to make it ili tuweze kufanikiwa if you see it is a huge amount ukiangalia kama ni gharama kubwa sana break it into pieces vunja vunja kwenye gharama ndogo and start by little na uanze kidogo i told you yesterday nikwambia jana but think big kwamba fikiria makubwa but start small lakini anza kidogo hallelujah hallelujah think big waza kuvikubwa start small ana uanze kidogo so it has to be measurable ina lazima iweze kupimika you, both your, your vision uh, maono yako your goals malengo yako have to be measurable lazima ipimike and a a stands for attainable lazima iweze kutimilizika is this attainable je mnaweza kuifanya is this achievable je inawezekana can it be possible je inawezekana to be done kufanyika of course it is possible Lali, kweli inawezekana hallelujah hallelujah you can make it unaweza kufanya you are we are well able sisi tuna uwezo of accomplishing great things wa kutimiliza mambo makubwa that's what daniel said ndicho daniel alichosema the people who know their god watu wanaomjua mungu wao shall be strong watafanya mambo makubwa and do exploits na kufanya mambo makubwa hallelujah hallelujah so check your vision check your goals angalia maono yako angalia mipango yako are these things attainable je inawezekana are these things achievable je inaweza kufanyika hallelujah hallelujah and ara na ara stands for inasimama relevant lazima iende na wakati you have to check do these things relevant je kitu kinaendana na, na wakati if it is irrelevant kama haiweze haiko na wakati drop it down achana nayo it has to be relevant lazima iende na wakati and t na t stands for time frame inasimama kwa muda wa kukamilisha in everything kwenye kila kitu you need to set time lazima uweke muda there have to be time set lazima uweke muda wa kukamilisha mpango wako accomplishing that what you are doing wa kukamilisha kile ambacho unachokifanya hallelujah hallelujah now sasa specific ile maalumu is when you set your goals and your goals are specific about what you want to accomplish who needs to be involved mhm kama unapoweka hiyo s hiyo maalumu kama unaweka mipango yako inamaanisha kwamba ni ni, ni maalumu na ni nani ambaye atakayefanya hilo jambo 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you set your goal, unapoweka mipango yako, be specific about uwe maalumu katika vitu vifuatavyo. What to accomplish? Unataka kufanya nini? Who needs to be involved? Nani watakao usika katika hilo? What exactly do you want to accomplish? Ni nini ambacho unataka waweze kutimiza? When nani wa, is the time frame for nani, that project? Je, hiyo hiyo huo mradi watakao uishe lini? Why do we start by this particular goal? Kwa nini tunaanza maalumu na na hili uh, na, na huu mpango? Why do we start by foundation and not the roof kwanuna anza na 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 msingi na sio pa because starting a roof before foundation ukisabu kuanza na na, na pa kabla ya msingi is irrelevant uh, inakuwa haiko ha, 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 sawa hallelujah hallelujah so you need to be specific unataka uwe uwe maalum who will get we be involved nani atahusika why am i doing this kwani nafanya hivyo now when you come to measurable unapokuja kwenye kupimika do all the calculations fanya mahesabu yote no what the needed cost to accomplish the goal is jua kwamba vitu gani vinahitajika kutimiza hayo maono break it down and focus on the stage one cost vunja vunja chini na uweze kufikiria jambo moja ambalo la gharama nataka kulitumikia you know, when we started our foundation tulipoanza msingi wetu we only focused on foundation tuliweka mkazo kwenye msingi we tu. asked how much is the foundation tuliuliza msingi ni shingapi to build to make the foundation complete Ili how much kumaliza msingi ni shingapi we not ask how much is the house akiauliza kwamba nyumba ni shingapi hallelujah hallelujah so it become measurable ikaweza kupimika and attainable ili iweze kutimilika au kufanyika you ask yourself is the goal achievable je ili mpango unawezekanika how important the goal is to us je ili lengo la muhimu kwetu kiasi gani it may need some learned people maybe labda inahitaji watu waliosoma labda and some workers to do the part that need skills labda kufanya sehemu ambayo inahitajika ujuzi can we get them jina tu tukawapata now it become attainable because you have all these questions answered kwa hiyo sasa itafanyika kwa sababu haya maswali yote yamejibika relevant uh, wakati relevance refers on something that makes sense with the broader ministry goals kwa inaonesha ni kitu ambacho kinaleta maana katika ujumla wa yale malengo hallelujah hallelujah i'm trying to think the family na jaribu kufikia familia they got married wameoana they are renting one room wanapangisha chumba kimoja and they say wanasema we want to build a radio station tunataka kujenga kituo cha redio it is irrelevant hiyo haiendani na nyie it is irrelevant haiendani na nyie you need to move for that one which is needed at that time unataka ufanye kile ambacho kinahitajika kwa wakati huo if it is not time don't start kama sio wakati usianze continue planning endelea kupanga mipango hallelujah hallelujah time frame kuweka muda wa kukamilisha anyone can set goals kila mtu anaweza kuweka mipango but if it lacks timing kama inakosa muda wa kumaliza chances are you are not going to succeed uh, ni, ni kwamba mtakwenda kutokufanikiwa provide a target which is dead for your any project kwa lazima uweke lengo la kufikia kwenye kila mkakati set a goals deadline weka mpango wa, wa muda kumalizika and determine what can be accomplished within that period of time na uweke mkakati kwamba kitu gani kitachomalizika katika huo muda mlioupanga hallelujah hallelujah so smart here means kwa hiyo hapa smart inamaanisha is this goal specific je haya maono ni maalum Is this goal measurable? Je, yeah, haya maono yanapimika? Is this goal attainable? Je, yeah, haya maono yanawezekana? Is this goal relevant? Je, yeah, haya maono yanaendana na wakati? And is it timely? Je, yeah, haya maono yanaweza kumalizika kwa wakati ulio kusudiwa? It is the time for it. Je, yeah, ni wakati wake huu? 
When you have positive answers on these questions, ukiwa na majibu ambayo ni sahihi kwa ajili ya maswali haya, then you can go ahead with the letting the work be done. Sasa unaweza ukaendelea kwa kazi iendelee. Many leaders whenever they want to do or to start something, viongozi wengi wanapotaka kuanzisha kitu, be it big or small, iwe kubwa au ndogo, they go around with begging papers to beg wanaenda na makatasi ya kuomba omba pesa I want to buy church land nataka kununua uh, arizi ya kanisa support me nisaidie I want to build my house nataka kujenga nyumba yangu support me nisaidie I want to get married nataka kuoa support me nisaidie I want to do so and so nataka kufanya hivi na hivi support me nisaidie everything support me support Kira me nisaidie, support me nisaidie nisaidie there's no plans hakuna mipango there's no goals hakuna malengo Hello are you there? Hello mpo hapo. Hello? Hello. Turn to your neighbor. Ngiokea jani yako. Tell your neighbor you have to have goals. Mwambie jani yako atakuwa uwe na malengo. And a good plans. Na mipango mizuri to achieve your goals. Kutimiza malengo yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are things seems to be big than Mount Kilimanjaro. Kuna baadhi ya vitu vinaonekana vikubwa kuliko mlima Kilimanjaro. Because the people have been shown the big picture part of it kwa sababu watu wameoneshwa ile sehemu kubwa ya picha and they wonder where to get those millions of money wanafikiri watatoa wapi hayo mamilioni ya fedha where to get the, the, the millions of dollars watapata wapi mamilioni ya dola where to get millions of euros watapata wapi mamilioni ya euro if not billions of tanzania shillings kama sio mabilioni ya tanzania shillings by strategically dealing with one goal at a time set ukieka mkakati wa kufanya lengo moja kwa wakati we will finish all goals set before us without noticing tutamaliza malengo tuliojiwekea bila kujua without noticing the huge mountain we are carrying on our head bila kuona ile ule mlima mkubwa tunaobeba kwenye kichwa chetu when the vision is achieved na maona yanapokuwa yamekamilika we will be surprised tutashangazwa to be told how much money we have used to reach at that point kwamba tunatumia pesa kiasi gani kufikia katika ile hiyo eneo here is when we leaders say hapa ndipo pale ambapo sisi viongozi tunasema ebeneza 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 this far mpaka uh, hapa the lord has helped us bwana ametusaidia this far mpaka hapa up to this point mpaka katika sehemu hii not everything sio kila kitu no It is from here up to here. Ni kuanzia hapa mpaka hapa. And you st- we are still moving. Na tunaendelea tena. Tunaendelea. But it is from here up to here. Ni kuanzia hapa mpaka hapa. We celebrate. Tunashangilia. So up to this point. Mpaka kwenye pointi hii. The Lord has helped us. Bwana ametusaidia. That is first Samuel. Ah uh, hiyo ni Samuel wa kwanza. Chapter 7. 7 and verse 12. Na mstari wa 12. Attention please. Naomba unisikize tafadhali vision maono purpose mawa kusudi goals malengo and objectives na mikakati every group in the organization kila kikundi katika taasisi must have the same vision in mind lazima wawe na maono yanayofanana kwenye akili every department kila in the church idara katika kanisa must follow the big picture of the church lazima ufuate ile picha kubwa ya kanisa and operate through the main vision of the church na wafanye kulingana na maono ya kanisa leaders are you there viongozi mpo hapo leaders are you listening to this viongozi nasikiliza hili you must follow the big picture of the church lazima ufuate ile picha kubwa ya kanisa and operate through the main vision of the church na kufanya kazi kupitia ile maono makubwa ya kanisa and plan strategies na uanze kupanga mikakati how to reach to the goals yes ya kufikia hayo malengo of the organization or of the church ya ile taasisi au kanisa so when we see the church here tunapona kanisa hapa and we go to another region tunataka kwenye mkoa mwingine we must get the same church tunataka tuone kanisa lile lile hallelujah hallelujah operating the same wakifanya vile vile under that vision kwa chini ya maono yale hallelujah hallelujah I went to America. Nilienda Marekani. 
I ate in KFC. Nikala kwenye KFC. When I went to Europe, nipokenda Europe, when I got into the KFC home, nipokula kwenye KFC, it was the same as in, what I saw in America. Inafanana ile niliona kule Marekani. When I went to Dar es Salaam, nipokuja Dar es Salaam at city center, hapo katikati ya mji, there is KFC there. Kuna KFC pale. The same as America. Inafanana na kule Marekani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the secret of operating in one coverage. Hiyo ndio maana ya kufanya kazi katika cover moja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The strategy is on how to do the objectives. Mikakati jinsi ya kukamilisha mbinu za kukamilisha mikakati may differ from one place to another inaweza katupatiana kutoka sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine depending on social and cultural background inategemeana na jinsi ambavyo ile watu walivyo so if this one are, are using these goals kama hao wanatumia mipango hii another place may use other goals na sehemu nyingine anatumia mipango mingine another place may use other goals na pia sehemu nyingine anatumia mipango mingine to achieve the same vision kukamilisha kusudi moja the vision must remain the same maono lazima yabakie vile vile alivyo the purpose must remain the same makusudi lazima yabakie jinsi alivyo you can change goals uweze ukabadilisha malengo according to the cultural background kutokana na 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 na, 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 na tamaduni hallelujah hallelujah someone say amen mtu mmoja aseme amina remember kumbuka together we stand pamoja tunasimama divided we fall na tukigawana tunavunja tunaanguka wanasema if you want to go fast kama unataka kwenda kwa haraka go alone nenda peke yako but if you want to go far na kama unataka kwenda mbali go together nendeni pamoja leaders viongozi let us come together tuje pamoja and do our things together at five to vyetu pamoja in uh, 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 focusing on the main picture of the church na kuangalia ile picha kubwa ya kanisa So in writing katika kuandika we start with the vision tunaanza na maono then the purpose alafu makusudi then goals alafu malengo and then objectives alafu mikakati uh, in operation jinsi ya kufanya kazi katika utendaji we start with the objectives tunaanza na mikakati to achieve each goal at a time set kila malengo katika muda uliowekwa then the mission or the purpose will be revealed alafu makusudi yatafunuliwa and then by following that plan na kwa kufuata huo mpango go at god's timing katika muda wa Mungu we achieve the vision tunatimiza maono if your group is under some main coverage kama kikunicha uh, kwa chini ya mtu mwingine let's say the church is under a certain denomination kama kanisa yako chini ya dhahabu fulani or a department is under the church au idara yako chini ya kanisa you don't come up with your vision au jina maono yako that does not collaborate with the main picture ambao aiendani na ile picha kamili you don't become another one in the same group au mtu mwingine katika kikundi kile kile Don't be a person of another kind. Usiwe mtu ambaye afanani na wengine. This is something but it, this is nothing but rebellion. Hiyo ni uasi. This is what Kora, Dathan and Abiram was. Nicho ambacho Kora, Dathan na Abiram walifanya. In the group of Moses. Katika kikundi cha Musa. Remember Kora was the leader of rebellion against Moses. Kora alikuwa ni kiongozi wa uasi katika uh, wakati wa Musa. And the rebelling will always bring about confusion and na, distort the harmony. Yeah, na, na kule kuasi ku, kutasababisha uh, machafuko na kuharibu mpango. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can plan new strategies. Unaweza ukapanga mikakati mipya. How to achieve the goals Jisa of the church? malengo ya kanisa. How to can accomplish the main vision? jinsi ya kuweza kutimiza maono kamili in which you exist for kwa jinsi yale ambayo nyie mpo kwa ajili hiyo when a leader is vision minded wakati kiongozi anakuwa anaweka yale maono kichwani and purpose driven na anaongozwa na yale makusudi he creates high moral and spirit among his people anatengeneza mazingira ya watu kuwa na moyo 
katika kufanya hayo makusudi among his group katika kundi chake among his department katika watu wake he becomes effective and a major motivational force anaweza kuanza kufanya vizuri na kuanza kuhamasisha watu in that group of his katika hicho kikundi hallelujah hallelujah highly motivated people are self disciplined watu ambao wamehamasishwa wame wanakuwa na nizamu ya binafsi they are also reliable na wanakuwa wanaaminika and they are no, no, knowledgeable na pia wanakuwa na, na ufahamu so leaders without a, fo- a focused purpose kwa viongozi pasipokuwa na ma, 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 makusudio ambao wameyaweka we will never will not be able to unleash their efforts in the right direction. Hawataweza kuwekeza nguvu zao katika mwelekeo ambao ni sahihi. They tend to be superficial or lazy people. Wanakuwa ni watu ambao ni 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 wavivu and full of more talk than action. Na wanaongea sana kuliko vitendo. We will do this. Tutafanya hivi. Wait and see. Goja mtaona. Watch and see. Angalia mtaona. I will do this and this and this. Tutafanya hivi na hivi na hivi. Rick Warren once said Rick Warren alisema wakati mmoja Once you have defined the purpose of your church or your group pale uliopokuwa umefafanua uh, makusudi ya kanisa lako au kikundi chako you must continually clarify and communicate them to everyone in your congregation Lazima uendelee kuelezea na kuwaelezea kila kwa kila mmoja yuko katika kusanyiko It is not a task you do once sio jambo ambalo utalifanya mara moja and then forget about na ukalisa hao this is the foremost responsibility of leadership hii ndio kazi kubwa ya kwanza ya kiongozi if you fail to communicate your statement of purpose to your members ukishindwa kuelezea kauli mbiu ya makusudi kwa watu kwa watu kanisa lako you will never go forward hautaenda mbele lack of focus ukikosa kuwa na makini can spell trouble and cause wrong focus inaweza ikaleta matatizo na ikasababisha mkose mwelekeo as i conclude napomalizia remember kumbuka small minds wa akili ndogo attempts to accomplish everything wanajaribu kukamilisha kila kitu wise and effective leaders viongozi wenye hekima pursue only the important things within their pro, within their objectives wanashirikia tu mambo ya muhimu yaliyopo ndani ya malengo yao hallelujah hallelujah so please be a wise leader tafadhali kuwa kiongozi mwenye hekima be a wise leader uwe kiongozi mwenye hekima tell your neighbor mwambie jirani yako vision maono purpose makusudi goals malengo and then objectives na mikakati god bless you mungu akubariki hallelujah, hallelujah. let's meet to another uh, class tutaenda kwenye darasa lingine